Today, I want to show you how you can make over $660 per day with these free Google career certificates. I'm going to show you exactly how you can master one of the most in-demand skills out there for free and how you can learn that online at your own pace based on e-learning courses that have been developed by Google product experts. Not only that, but I will also show you how you can start applying this skill right away and get paid for it. Okay, look, generative AI is revolutionizing the job market not only by replacing jobs, which is what many people were expecting, but in fact, it is enhancing them, focusing on automating specific tasks rather than entire roles. So if we take a quick look at Google Trends, you're going to see that the level of interest for generative AI has literally skyrocketed over the last months. And this is because more and more companies are looking to hire people like you who are well versed and skilled in AI, but also who can prove that level of expertise through certificates and certifications. So you really want to stick around till the end, because in this video, not only am I going to show you step by step exactly how to get the course for free in this high demand area, but also I'm going to show you where to go and how to apply for jobs that are hiring right now that are looking for people like you who can offer skills and expertise in these tools. Okay, so let's head over to Google's cloud skills portal so I can show you all you need to know. Okay, so now I am at uh, cloudskillsboost.google and what you want to do it is either find, so control F or command F or literally scroll down until you see introduction to generative AI learning path. Once you click on it, you will see all the details about this free career path. You see, it has five modules right now from introduction to generative AI, introduction to large language models, introduction to responsible AI, generative AI fundamentals and responsible AI applying AI principles with Google Cloud. Now, what I want to show you that I found to be really, really interesting is when you go to prerequisites, it literally says that this is for everyone, that there is no prerequisite in terms of taking this course. You don't need to have any experience, any skill in terms of AI beforehand. And also, if you look at audience, it shows that it is meant for the general audience. So whatever background experience or education you have, it does not really matter because this is available to everyone. And as you can see, it is available for free. Now, in terms of completing this, you will only get a completion badge, so you won't get a certificate in the end, but it will still be a great way to prove that you have taken this course and that you understand probably more than majority of people do in terms of generative AI. So all you have to do is click on join to enroll in this course and then sign in with a Google account or create one if you don't have one. And that's literally everything you need to know. And also if we needed further reassurance here on the side, there is a frequently asked question in terms of can I take this course for free? And it is once again confirmed that when taking this course, we will be able to consume it like videos and documentation for free. Now, obviously, if you want to take this course in person, then that might come at a cost. And at the end of it, once you've completed it, you will be awarded the completion badge. So you will be able to put that on your LinkedIn profile or on your resume in order to be able to show people that you have been through this course. And if we go back and check the second module, I think that's even more interesting because here you are going to learn how large language models actually work. So you'll be able to understand probably more than majority of people do in terms of how ChatGPT works, for example. The other really interesting thing that I noticed about this career path is that every single module not only includes the videos and the documentation that you are expected to go through, but it also includes a reading list with lots of incredibly valuable resources that I truly recommend you go ahead and check out. Many of them are actually still free and you also have a quiz. So once you've gone through the content, you will be able to go through the quiz and validate your knowledge. And if you ask me, I would even include the results to the quiz in your resume or in your LinkedIn profile, if that's something that you are after. Now let's talk about what are you going to do once you have this certificate or this career learning path under your belt. Here are a few options. 
Number one, you can obviously go to LinkedIn and all you need to do is here in the search bar, just type generative AI. For me, I pre-filtered for San Francisco Bay Area, but you can pre-filter for any area that you would like to work in. And for example, we have a freelance Gen AI and ML machine learning expert and mentor position that is available. We have intern positions, we have AI product manager position, machine learning engineers, if you want to go deeper and study even more from a tech perspective, AI training freelancer, AI research scientist, head of AI platform, founding engineer, product leader, data scientists, and so forth. By the way, if you want to take this one step further, Google are offering a technical version of this career learning path as well, which I'm going to link down below. So if you want to go deeper on the tech side, you have that option and it is also for free. Another place where you can go and search for generative AI positions is joblist.ai and here you will be able to pick from prompt engineering ai marketing ai design ai research ai development as well as other roles and if we take a look you have everything from prompt engineer jobs all the way to fine-tuning specialist for open ai llm interaction engineer creative technologists as well as intern positions there's a multimodal Gen AI researcher position, as well as a freelance stable diffusion engineer. So you don't really need to be an expert in Python, for example, if you want to get into generative AI, you can start even with one of the intern positions that I've shown you and then grow and, uh, you know, climb the corporate ladder or the ladder of whichever company you're working with and learn even more so you can get into higher paced positions. Last but not least, there is a position even with Apple where they're looking for a machine learning engineer for generative AI. By the way, all of these positions and all of these resources are going to be linked down below. So don't worry, I'm making it as easy as possible for you guys. All right, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like it if you did. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so. And also share with a friend who might also be interested in topics like this one. Until next time, I suggest you go ahead and watch this video over here and I'll see you soon. Bye.